first off, welcome back to Vancouver. I know it's been a bit of a whirlwind trip, but you mm. did rap yeah. filming one and a half years ago here. Right. So how special is it to be back in the city? Oh, this is our little mic. So yeah, no, it's okay. Uh, it's great to return to the scene of the crime. Uh, no, it, it, it may not. You definitely <laughs> murdered someone. Yeah. No, this is, this is, uh, it's great because it was such a wonderful experience. And coming back to Vancouver, which is a beautiful city, and like you mentioned before too, it's, it's lovely because you have the mix of the city and of nature, right? The best of both worlds. Uh, we're working, we were working in a world-class facility that is cutting-edge technology on a story that is beloved by millions, a generational story uh, that kids grew up with who are now adults. And so to come back here is an accomplishment in of itself because we're so close to sharing it now. And like you say, it's been a year and a half and they spent 13 months on and off working on it. I was only there for seven months, but it's finally so gratifying to see that we are so close to finally completing that initial journey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel so much nostalgia being back here. There are so many uh, nights of like me and Ian just rolling around the streets of Vancouver, uh, you know, going to our favorite boba spots and, and, and getting dinner together um, when we weren't working. So, yeah. Everyone felt a big responsibility in bringing these characters to life. So when you were cast, what were the first steps you took to make sure you did right by your character and by this incredible, passionate fan base? Yeah, I, I think for both me and Paul was making sure that we weren't doing caricatures of the animated series. Um, we had to really nail down the fact that these are real people experiencing real life emotions, real life trauma, um, and the, the because this is the world they live in, it, it can't feel like we're in a cartoon with um, some of our scenes. Even the comedic beats, I mean, they feel so natural and so grounded. And that's what I love the most about our cast is everyone is so darn talented. Nobody missed the beat. And like, when you have this guy, you know, not only mentoring you with like dialogue lines, but like in a scene, um, you definitely start to see this really amazing progression of acting throughout the series as well. <laughs> he's, very, he's being very kind. I actually learned a lot from him, and uh, he carries a lot of the scenes that we did together. He's, just, he's such a fine actor. Uh, he brings uh, truth to a lot of the scenes that we do. I mean, we are talking with the other interviewer about how he comes from a comedic background, and he's always wanted to do drama. In my opinion, comedy is harder than drama, right? But one of the wonderful things about comedy is true comedy deals with truth. And, and that's what he brought to the table. Just truthful, wonderful moments. He brought a lot of care and attention to detail. And like everyone else, when we were prepping, you go to the source material. You see where that foundation is. A rewatch of the animated series is a must. Uh, but it was something that we were making our own. It was an animated adapt. It was an adaptation of a beloved animated show. And there are certain things that just don't translate into live action from animated and uh, animation. Right. So you know we were all very mindful of the respect and the homage we wanted to pay to the original characters. But at the same time, we were cognizant of the fact that these were like you said not caricatures but characters and fully realized dimensional human beings and so that's what we tried to bring to the table. Yeah, there's also just so many like endless YouTube videos of like character analysis Yeah. so we, I definitely like tapped into that. <laughs> and on the topic of online content you and Ian have really played into the whole Zuka <laughs> ship in the behind the scenes content with how close you've become. Tell me a bit about that bromance and how much of this Zuka content have you consumed? How much? You guys, you guys haven't even gotten like a, a droplet of it. No, uh, <laughs> Ian's, Ian's my brother for life. I love that guy to death, and he was someone that sort of helped shape and, and mold some of the person that I am today. Um, and uh, I, I love that guy forever. Like him and I sort of had mutuals at the start, and then you know when you spend every single day of like eight hours with someone, naturally you're just gonna um, become close with them and be brothers. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> awesome. That's and, the little bro. <laughs> and lastly, Paul, have you convinced Dallas to be team window open? Oh, you don't shut the window when you fly, do you? Do you? Oh, dude. You're my goal, I man. 
<laughs> I, I'm not a I'm not a monster, but I say that if you're taking off and you're landing and you're on an airplane and you're enjoying the miracle of flight, you got to look out the window a little bit, and then you can shut it. I get it, I get it, but it's got to be open for takeoff and landing. Start. Not at the start, yeah, yeah. But uh, you're uh, a monster. I'll, I'll, once once we get the takeoff and we we sort of balance the plane out, I'm shutting that thing right away and going to bed. That's fine. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I'm yeah. not a monster. Maybe I get it. Landing because I might not be awake though. Dude, I knock. <laughs> As somebody who was relegated once to the aisle seat and had to sit through a landing with that window closed because dude was asleep, I'm gonna say not cool. <laughs> not cool. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I'm so excited for everyone to see this remarkable series, so congratulations Thank on you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to Vancouver. It's been one and a half years since you wrapped filming season one. How special is it to come back and celebrate? I know you were just at Fan Expo Vancouver earlier in the day. Yeah. Um, I think we're all like really excited to be back. I mean, it is like a small, shorter trip this time, but it definitely is really nostalgic. Um, surprisingly, I feel like we were expecting the nostalgia, but not as much as actually hit. So, yeah. um, going to like the spots that we used to go to when filming and stuff. Um, yeah, it was really, it's really crazy. You take this one too. Uh, I mean, I live you here. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did leave doing like trips and stuff, but this place is my home. I know, like, I, I just love this place, and it's nice to be back. Yep. So same here. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh. Um, yeah, I I love Vancouver. I like we just went and hit a food tour basically yesterday. Hit all the spots we used to go to, um, all the recommendations. Shops. I'm scared. I'll say the same ones. Dallas said some uh, Nam Pen. That's okay. not blowing anyone's mind. Uh, and Saku, Saku in uh, the West End, is so fire. Um, and yeah, like we, but I love Gastown. Yeah, it's actually like the architecture is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. The waterfront, it's really cool. I'm glad you got to spend some time in Chinatown. Um, one more question for you. So I know you all felt a big responsibility in bringing your characters to life. So what were the first steps that each of you took to make sure you did right by this character and for this incredible fan base? Oh, you mind? Take it, of course. Binging the series. I think we can all agree on that one. Uh, we're all huge fans of the show, so we watch it quite a bit. I mean, these two grew up on it, but uh, I was a little bit late because, well, I wasn't born at the time. But we love the show. Yeah. Lit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, he really but, said it. Like, mm -hmm. growing up on the series, you get really comfortable and, like, familiar with these characters. Um, but, yeah, like, especially um, after being cast, you binge the whole show. And um, I... I for me, went into specific scenes that Katara, um, it really showed her like reactions and how she felt about certain things. And then after getting comfortable with with her character, um, that's when I kind of started to like make decisions for us both, you know. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think the first step is at. It was just watching the show all the way through again and just like letting it sink in um, you know focusing more on your character and being like oh wow like what is the what does this character serve a purpose for and all of our characters serve so many purposes mm -hmm. that it's a lot to dive into so um, moving from an animated show to a live action show I did a lot of like journaling as Sokka um, just watching and and trying to figure out what Sokka does for the audience and I feel like he's like a lot of the voice of the audience so we're we're doing something that is beautiful and a little new so wanted to figure out how I could try to do that for our show as well Should let these guys take the question I'm, I'm so excited to see it and I have to say it's so nice how supportive you are of each other especially with your music career your skateboarding talented skateboarder yep. what's your just here. secret hobby <laughs> you definitely have to I, 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 I'm trying to direct as well so okay. It also has a clothing brand, which is yeah. talking about, it's so good. A vintage clothing store, and it is incredible. Yes. Oh, thanks, bro. So that's where you, you will get all your clothing moving forward. Yeah. yeah. Right, guys? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We live in LA. Yeah. <laughs>